What do you feel when you pass a street free of litter and the air is breezing so fresh? It speaks so much about the order and cleanliness of the place, right? You also feel comfortable and more pleasant to be in. How about when you pass through a street covered in the garbage? I know there's this feeling of hesitance to even pass through that area. For today's video, let us all be amazed by how this particular city in Rwanda was considered to be one of the cleanest cities in Africa. Hi! Welcome to Hero Summary Channel. This channel is about facts, histories, and amazing stories. Do you want to know where this is and what their practices are? Let's get started. When I said the cleanest city in Rwanda, I am talking about Kigali. Kigali is known for being one of the cleanest cities in Africa, and it has been recognized for its efforts to maintain a clean and orderly environment. The city has implemented a number of initiatives to promote cleanliness, and this is what we are going to discuss in this video. Firstly, they implemented a ban on plastic bags in the city. This is a pioneering initiative that has been widely recognized for its effectiveness in promoting cleanliness and reducing litter in the city. The ban, which was implemented in 2008, made Rwanda the first country in the world to ban plastic bags. Plastic bags, which are not biodegradable, can take hundreds of years to decompose, and they can be found everywhere in the city, clogging drainage systems, polluting rivers and other water bodies, and endangering wildlife. This plastic bag banning also aimed to reduce the amount of plastic waste in the city and to promote a cleaner and healthier environment for its residents while prohibiting the importation, production, sale, and use of all non-biodegradable plastic bags. Kigali has also implemented a comprehensive system of waste collection and disposal to keep the city clean. The city has designated areas for waste disposal such as designated waste collection points which are located throughout the city and waste disposal sites which are located on the outskirts of the city. These designated areas are regularly serviced by the city's waste management department which is responsible for collecting and disposing of the waste. The city has also implemented a system of door-to-door -door waste collection, where residents are required to separate their waste into different categories such as organic and inorganic waste before it is collected. Aside from this waste collection and disposal system technique, the city has also invested in modern waste management infrastructure to reduce wastes that need to be sent to landfills. This infrastructure includes a variety of facilities and equipment that are designed to handle the collection, treatment, and disposal of waste in an efficient and environmentally friendly manner. One example of this is the composting facilities. These facilities are designed to break down organic waste such as food scraps and yard waste into a nutrient-rich soil amendment. This process not only reduces the amount of waste that needs to be sent to landfills, but it also helps to promote environmental conservation by providing a valuable resource for farmers and gardeners. Further, the city of Kigali also initiated recycling plants. These are designed to sort and process different types of recyclable materials such as paper, glass, and plastic. This not only reduces the amount of waste that needs to be sent to landfills, but also promotes environmental conservation by keeping materials out of the waste stream and giving them new life. The city also had functional trucks, tippers, and other necessary equipment for the effective collection and disposal of waste. This ensures that the waste is collected and disposed of in an efficient and effective manner. And it also helps to promote environmental conservation by reducing the amount of energy and resources that are required to collect and dispose of the waste. It also caught my attention how people clean their canals and drainage systems. For others, cleaning it once or twice a week is already enough. Other clean cities also do the cleaning every day, which is already an impressive act. However, in Kigali, 
They went the extra mile and assigned people to clean their drainage systems five times a day. Imagine that! The initiative has been successful in keeping the city clean and healthy. Since the initiative was implemented, there has been a noticeable decrease in the amount of debris found in the drainage systems and there has been a decrease in the number of flooding incidents. This has helped to improve the quality of life for residents and has also helped to promote environmental conservation. The Kigali government did a great job in maintaining the cleanliness of the city with its rules and mandates. Not only do they implement, but they have strict enforcement of laws and regulations that govern cleanliness. This is done through penalties, fines, or community service for those who break the law. But to be tagged as one of the cleanest cities in Africa is not just an honor and pride of the local government. They also owe it to the citizens who took part in maintaining the cleanliness. The Kigali people had this initiative also that every last Saturday of the month, people in the villages wake up early to clean. This initiative is a tradition that is deeply ingrained in the culture of these villages. They clean the streets, sidewalks, and public spaces as well as ensure that the village's drainage systems are functioning properly. This does not only promote cleanliness, but so do community engagement and volunteerism. Kigali people feel like it's their duty, so they help. When individuals and groups are actively engaged in the affairs of their community, they are more likely to feel invested in the community's well-being and take pride in their community. This can lead to a greater sense of community cohesion and a stronger sense of community identity. A city's cleanliness is an essential aspect of creating a healthy and livable environment for its residents. It encompasses not only the absence of litter and debris on the streets, but also the proper management of waste, the maintenance of public spaces, and the preservation of the natural environment. A clean city promotes public health. When it is free of litter and debris, just like Kigali, it will help to prevent the spread of disease-causing organisms and reduces the risk of injury. Having a clean environment also enhances the quality of life of residents because it provides them with opportunities for relaxation and recreation in public spaces such as parks and playgrounds. The city's story of cleanliness may serve as an inspiration and a model for other cities around the world. What do you think about this topic? Do you think your city has the same practices as Kigali? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.